Um, I've been a couple, uh, in contact with a couple of teams. Um, you know, the car. Uh, my agent's been in contact with like the Cardinals, the Bills. Uh, you know, I, I ha I've had some zooms with uh, the Vikings. Uh, I had a uh, couple of zooms with the Patriots. So, I mean, there's a lot of uh, a lot of teams that I've you know either they've been in contact with me or they've been in uh, heavy contact with my agent. Jacoby Stevens, Alex Fleming, Florida Sun. How you doing today? I'm doing fine. How about you? Pretty good. Um, very talented LSU squad. You guys made history last year. Um, two questions. One, what position do you prefer to play, considering that you can play almost everything in defense? <laughs> And two, what memory are you going to hold on to for the rest of your life that's going to bear with you on the next level? Well, one of the things um, with, with the, the position question is, you know, I'm comfortable playing any position. Um, you know, it, I, I think the game is kind of going towards a positionless game, where it's kind of coming like basketball uh, in terms, Coach O said, the best basketball on turf. Um, so it's getting to the point to where you're going to have to uh, just basically be ready for matchups. Um, so the, uh, any specific position, uh, I don't have like just one that I prefer over the other. I'm willing to play any anything, especially anything that uh, help the team, uh, help the team win. And um, one of the moments that I'm gonna take with me forever. Um, and I, you know, I hit on this question. You know, somebody uh, you know asked me this question yesterday. Uh, of course, I remember the um, the national championship. I mean, that's hands down. Um, but like that's that's kind of gonna hit more. You know, 10, 15 years. You know, from now. You know, when you look back, like, man, I really won a national championship. But the things that, you know, that I take with me now and I remember most now is this offseason with Coach Moffitt. Um, those, those times with Coach Moffitt, you know, you, you that's how you just formulate a team. You, that's, that's how you ban, uh, create a band of brothers. And, um, you know, being, you know, in the offseason with Coach Moffitt, he pushed, he pushed you through some fire. And just to see everybody, you know, stay together and get out of there and go dominate for the season, uh, you know, just thinking about that as an entire whole, it, it's amazing. Uh, Jacob, here's Mateo Jornelas from Time Out Podcast here in Brazil. Mm -hmm. uh, congratulations for going for the NFL draft. Uh, you have the chance of going for the Senior Bowl and have a full week with NFL coaching staff, trainers, scouts. What you can talk about that week? What do you think was the biggest learning that you have on that week? Well, I, I think, um, you know, that that was just a you know, week of just playing in the NFL. Um, you learn so much from uh, that week because, like I said, you know, I come from, yeah, I come from LSU, but, yeah, and it's the closest thing to the NFL, but it's not the NFL. And being able to, you know, be coached by NFL NFL coaches and you know play under NFL rules. Um, you know you, you learn so much and you retain so much information. I mean even to you know the weigh-ins and the um, the you know measurements and all that stuff like that. You know me and Jabril we were ready for it, but just because of the Senior Bowl, I, you know I, I didn't really have anything that you know that surprised me because during that Senior Bowl we did it already. We kind of played it in the NFL for a week. So uh, it definitely benefited me for today. Hey, Jacoby, this is uh, Glenn West with us, West High. Good to see you again, man. Um, you know, obviously, you know, coming in, you, you're kind of seen as kind of a hybrid player, a linebacker, a safety, kind of a guy that can go all over the field. Um, but I think a lot of people were probably a little surprised by the 41-inch the vertical and, you know, some of the, the, the physical stats you put out there today. I mean, just kind of talk about how important it was for you to prove to NFL teams that you have that – uh, athletic ability to kind of play all over the field. Oh yeah, I mean, I mean, it's very important. I mean, uh, like today was really today was really big for me. Um, uh, they, like you said, they wanted to see how athletic I was. Oh, uh, can I can I play? You know, am I athletic enough to play on an NFL level? And coming out here, I, I felt like I answered those questions with the vertical and the broad and the forty, and also doing the drills. Um, you know, that, one of the things, you know, one of my agents got back from scouts where they, they know that I'm a, a, a really good football player. They just want to know how good of an athlete that I am. And uh, like I said, March 31st, on, uh, a, a, you know, March 31st was a big day for me. And uh, I think I answered a lot of those questions. Jacoby Stevens, Mookie Hawkins, Buffalo Sports, 1080, Buffalo. How's it going, big guy? I'm doing fine. How about you? I'm good, man. I'm <laughs> happy to hear that you spoke to 
spoke with some of the reps out of Buffalo. <laughs> Who was the rep that you actually spoke to and what was that conversation like? And how would you love to have the opportunity to play with Tredavious White? Uh, you know, I, I, I talked with a couple of personnel guys. I mean, I don't want to, you know, name drop and stuff like that. Uh, I know how they feel about that. But um, playing with somebody like Trey White, Trey, Trey White and this playing somebody like an LSU great here, uh, for, that, he, that when he was great he was, when he was here, would be amazing. Um, you know, one of the questions were, was asked, like, what would you do the first uh, your first day coming to Buffalo? And I said that I would go find Trey White wherever he's at, and I would glue myself to him and make and make him become my mentor. Like, you know, it, even if he wanted to or not, he's going to become my mentor if I was at Buffalo, you know, were to go to Buffalo and, um, you know, probably annoy him a little bit. But that's somebody that you, you know, that, that's somebody that you just tag yourself with and you, you learn from. You soak up as much information as possible. I mean, even when he comes back to Baton Rouge, you know, you know, I don't, you know, I don't talk as much. Uh, when he's around, I just sit next to him and I listen. And I just listen to what he has to say, what's going on, you know, in the NFL, his learning experience. And, you know, he may not know that, but I'm soaking up everything that he says because he's he's one of those type of guys. Hey, Jacoby, Nick Fairbaugh, Pittsburgh Sports Now here. You know, one of the things that a lot of these LSU guys that uh, – that they've talked over the, the weeks. They said that you are a massive leader on that defensive squad. I mean, first of all, how does that feel to be viewed like that? And second, what makes you a great leader? And also, have you spoken at all with the Steelers? Yes, sir. Um, I, I spoke with the linebackers coach um, a couple of times, um, and my agents uh, been talking to them. But uh, you know, to be to to be a leader, uh, you know. And, and to be known as a leader, and, and the, my guys are telling us saying this, it means a lot. Um, you know, they all know that I'll, you know, I take my jacket off on my back right now for them. Um, th those are my guys. Those are my brothers. And uh, and what makes me a great leader is is them. Um, they they're the ones, like I said, they're the ones that push me. They're the ones that helped me and molded me to the to the player and to the guy I am today. Uh, but, you know, I wouldn't be here without them. And, and you know, I'm not going to sit here and say that, you know, I have all these traits or I learned all these things, you know, from reading a book or, I, you know, I was born with this. But the the, the reason why, you know, I am and, and the reason why I, I, I can say that I am a leader is because of things that I learned and I retain from them. We're going to finish here with Michael Cobble. Hey, Jacoby, it's Michael Cobble here in Baton Rouge. Good to see you again. I think it's interesting that they, they your scouts report said, you know, they're looking for your athleticism. <laughs> when I think of you, I think of the versatility that you show. Uh, take me through your, your preparation for today. Because you're kind of all over the map and, and slotted to, look, to be looked at at different positions, have you had to train differently? And do you feel like that's an advantage or a disadvantage, kind of having, you know, three different skill sets or positions that you're being looked at? I mean, um, you know, training, we, we, you know, we just looked at, like I said, we looked at the uh, 40, the vertical, and the broad. We wanted to hit those big three, uh, the, those textual explosiveness and those tests, you know, your speed. Uh, in terms of, you know, and, and, the, and, the, and the reasons why the linebacker questions were asked or the outside linebacker questions were asked because they didn't understand how athletic, you know, I was or can, can I do the DB drills, can I flip my hips? And that's why I decided to do that. Now, if I go, be able, now if I'm drafted to a team uh, and they ask me to play linebacker at a hybrid position, they know that I can do that because playing DB is one of the hardest positions to play on the football field. So if I can uh, turn my hips, flip my hips, come out my break just as good as you know as any other DB on the uh, field, I definitely can play any of those other positions. Thank you.